Hello YouTube! So, for any potential viewers who don't know me yet, uh, my name is Matiz and I am an enthusiastic musician, among other things. Um, and I have set a challenge to myself to produce an original song, uh, write lyrics, produce music, record and mix everything in nine days uh, in the style of The Weeknd. And hence his name, I will start this weekend, it's Saturday today, and I will finish it next Sunday. So that's not a lot of time. But um, I'm starting by analyzing his songs and trying to understand some typical elements that he's using uh, that I will incorporate into my song. Um, I am focusing on his later works. Um, I've asked my friends on Instagram what they think is the most iconic Weekend song and they gave some answers. Uh, so I will just listen to a few of them now. Um, actually, these are all uh, older than Don FM, which is fairly new. Um, and I will try to isolate some elements and then also tell you what I think I'm going to do for my song. Um, the first one I'm listening to is Blinding Lights and I'm listening on my headphones so I don't have any um, copyright issues with my videos. I think this one is uh, fairly iconic to me. It's also fairly simple and has a lot of elements that I think are typical uh, for the weekend. So right off the bat, uh, the song starts with this dangerous atmospheric synths, right? His style now is heavily 80s influenced. It's, it's not the same as the original 80s style, it is modernized, but um, almost all elements are directly adopted from that era. Um, and he's not the only artist using this, it appears to be um, the hit right now, uh, but I think he's doing it really well. So this dangerous synth sound uh, kind of immediately gives you the atmosphere that the song has. After a few seconds the theme comes on, but it's not in the rhythm, it's slower and it's kind of muted for now. It just gives you the hint, it's an epic theme and painfully simple. And then above the scenes which are just like flooding the background with a note or a chord comes the very energetic uh, drum beat which is also painfully simple it's just bass snare bass snare bass snare bass bass snare and of course the synths rise up in pitch and volume and then the theme comes on full power and there's another typical thing uh, that I've noticed in a lot of weekend songs. There's a synth in the background that does kind of fast arpeggios. So I think I'm going to use this in my song as well. Um, and then the next element I think is really prominent in this song. I can see clearly when you're go, go, go. Ka, ka, ka. Three claps, two of which are more significant and they're syncopic. And then the chorus comes on. Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. And there's, I think, one or two synths, maybe more, because there's a lot of things in the background that you can barely hear, are flooding again the chorus with the chords. And the bass synth, a little more defined, has that dangerous feel to it, but it's also really simple. You're just holding the note and then do do to transition into another chord, do do, and that's that's basically it. Then it repeats and then there comes a bridge after the second chorus I think we have to hear the epic theme again of course as, as much as possible <laughs> and then the break comes and everything breaks down except for the theme and I think another synth again just holding the notes and him singing and that then it goes out. Uh, so I think I will have to have a breakdown like this in my song as well with just without the drums just the synth and the vocals and I'm gonna struggle with the vocals by the way because my vocals don't sound anything like his um, but I'll try. Uh, the next song I'm listening to is not a very famous song of his it was never on the radio here in Slovenia it's called Secrets but I like it it's really funky and at the beginning of the video, this woman says something in French, which I think means I have the same dream every night. And then a muted rhythm comes on. So it's, a, it's already the rhythm part, but it's muted. 
And uh, this kind of intro uh, appears in multiple songs of his, and I think I'm gonna use this as well, because it's nice. Five, six, seven, and then he fools on. The kick bass and the snare are, I think, just one, two, three, four, in almost all of his songs. So the most basic rhythm you can program or, or use, whatever. And a lot of the extra rhythm comes from synthesizers. Um, many times the bass synth, I think. And I think here... And not much else is going on. He's singing and maybe some background chords or notes. Yeah, definitely. And something that kind of sounds like electronified vocals on this high pitch. And then a breach comes on and slightly more is going on with back vocals here. And now again, a clap transition, just like in, in Binding Lines, but a slightly different one. I love this one, it's really nice. There's a particular sound in here that I really like. It sounds like slide guitar. I'm, I'm not sure it is. It might be purely electronic. And it just slides up. Um, and has this really nice atmosphere and it's it's the one sound because these songs as I said are fairly simple and most of the sounds Aren't very characteristic and then you need this one or two sounds that are characteristic enough so that you Immediately notice it and it gives character to the song and I think here this slide guitar sound is one of the sounds that makes the song The chorus goes on twice and then after the chorus. Let me hear it Actually it, a lot of it is done again with high vocals um, and back vocals and there's a synth sound that kind of really goes really high into the pitch like like sort of a siren or something and then the the clap transition comes on again but so it's slightly different than the one leading into the chorus without the middle the middle hit so yeah this one is nice um, then this one was named by my friends as one of the most iconic and I think it is it's I can't feel my face and some critics have compared this to Michael Jackson, uh, who was a pioneer in the in the funky 80s sound, right? Um, whereas I would, I'm not sure I would call The Weeknd a pioneer. He's just, it's just a reinvention or a rephrasing um, things that have been done in a way, uh, but in a recognizable way. Again, a dangerous sounding atmospheric synth similar to Blinding Lights, and his vocals immediately. Sweet Bobinam, always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come. He goes into the pre-chorus and there's a sort of like snaps in the background, nothing else. The synth, of course, some, some other background sounds, but not much. And again, a signature um, clap transition. <laughs> okay, actually this, I think, is the actual snare sound. I can feel my face when I... I think the bass again is... And the, and the snare just a... I think the second one is like double. And the bass line... Very funky. Another great trick where you go out of the chorus, the music drops, you sing like the first line of the verse and then it comes back and drives the funk on. This one is, is iconic. Really funky. His vocals are amazing anytime. He has this a few signature vocal things that he does and he does them well. His vocals are um, auto-tuned. He's a good vocalist but um, just by the quality of the vocals and how they behave you can sort of tell that they are edited and auto-tuned. And of course the production is polished to, to the max. So his vocals have this delay and reverb things going in the background, as well as back vocals enhancing it and so on. The bass really does a lot rhythmically in this song. Uh, what else do I have? I think that's mostly it. Okay, I have uh, Save Your Tears, which surprisingly got three votes in my Instagram um, question, which was the most of any song. and. I particularly don't see this as the apex of uh, Weekend's creation. It's a nice song, um, very 80s. The bass line starts right off with, again, the, the uh, drum rhythm. 
and the bass is just um, eight notes on the same note do 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 and then just change with the chord on the root note and I think that's more or less it might be might vary a little somewhere in the song this one is really simple the rhythm is just eight notes most of the other songs have something that stands out of the straight rhythm syncopically but this one doesn't really do, 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 do. Again, a very uh, basic, simple, but nice sounding synth transition. Okay, clap transition again into the chorus, but I change it just straight. Da, da, da. Yeah, just eight notes. Da, 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 savior. Break down, save. You're without the rhythm, tears. The drums come back on. I think this is one of the rare uh, songs of his that begin on a major chord, if I'm... And it's, yeah, a very uh, simple, nice sounding melody. Um, that really doesn't shock or, you know, nothing really cuts out in any way. Yeah, um, 80s sounds, a lot of synth action going on. Um, this, I think, uh, this contrast between long flooded notes with some um, sharper, more defined notes um, that also can make the lead melody, like in the blinding lights or whatever. Um, a nice bass line that isn't complex but works um, in a way with uh, the drums and makes it funky. Uh, I'm gonna go towards this funky end uh, with my song. I wanna make it funky. Um, and I sort of know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna use the drums, make them a slightly more uh, complicated than just one, two, one, two. And I have already begun uh, composing this song because uh, it's Saturday and I had a lot of time today. And for the rhythm... Uh, so instead of just... So the bass, kick bass is going to be something like and basically snare on every even note, um, so on two and four. And uh, the other notes that I kind of sang with, I'm going to add on to the bass line, uh, which has the seat on the kick bass drum, um, so they go together. And probably something like um, some nice transitions like this on the eighth notes, sixteenth, sixteenth notes. Uh, and I think this is um, this transition that I just sang is going to be the main um, sort of sig signature transition into the chorus. Uh, also on higher registers with the synth, um, similar to what we've heard in his songs. Um, so I think this is going to be uh, the main rhythm part. And then for the chord structure, it's also painfully simple in most of his songs. So I'm just going to go with two chords for the beginning. Mm, I sort of tested the chords with my singing because I sort of know what um, the vocal line is going to go like. The chords are going to be um, B minor and A major. So just one interval apart. Um, for now, I might add something else in the bridge. I think this is going to suffice for most of the song because it does in his songs as well. Um, and then in this doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, transition, I'm probably also gonna add some claps, maybe just on the 16th level, da 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 da, or ka ka, or something like that. Um, and then just um, play with, with the synths. There has to be an insignificant synth sound following the notes of the chords, of the two chords. I think notes in the verse and then full chords in the chorus. Um, and so that's basically it. It needs lyrics that I've started writing and I think the lyrics are gonna go into the direction of um, this big city night scenes that I really like. Um, I used to, I mean used to, I like to travel a lot. I obviously travel less now that um, we have the pandemic situation. Um, but um, I'm not sure I would ever live in a big city uh, for a long time. But I really like it as an experience of, of something else because I didn't grow up in a city like this. 
And of these bright lights um, that I've seen, for example, in Hong Kong and Japan, um, they really have this um, 80s, 90s futuristic feel to it. And also for me, these experiences are um, deeply romantic in a way. And most of weekend songs are about love, sex and relationships, really. Um, and he's really juggling between you cheated on me, I cheated on you, I, I cheated on you, but I really love you. Sometimes it's just I've been with you, but I don't really love you. You know, things like this. Um, not that I can uh, relate with this um, changing relationship status every month, because um, that's not what my life looks like, but um, I can sort of understand. It's not like it's uh, nuclear science. Uh, so it, it has to have a romantic a love, passionate craving, I think, would go with it. Um, so yeah, looking to creating a real uh, 80s inspired weekend tune. Um, a lot of the time is going to go into finding the right synth sounds. Not all synth sounds that would go into the 80s would go into the weekend song, because he has specific characters of, of the sounds, I think, that make his songs recognizable. Uh, so I'm going to get as close to this as I can within this time frame and see how it goes and keep you updated. That's it for now, thank you.